Greetings again from our study here on West Craig Hill Drive. Welcome to our midweek meditation on this February the 2nd, the fourth Wednesday after Epiphany. I am returning to the Daily Prayer 2022 book this week, and Sunday was the Health and Human Services Sunday. We will begin and end with the sentence, O Lord, let your glory shine on us forever. And we will use Psalm 98 for today, and the scripture that is the basis for today's reflection is from Luke's Gospel. We will then move on to the prayers of the people in the intercession, the Lord's Prayer, a closing prayer, and the sentence that we began with. So let us begin. O Lord, let your glory shine on us forever. Reading Psalm 98 from the New Revised Standard Version. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. And the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Like a joyful noise of the Lord, all the earth, Break forth in a joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills sing forever for joy. In the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and all peoples with equity. Reading Luke 2, 33-38 again from the New Revised Standard Version. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce you, your own soul too. There was a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. And our reflection. When babies were born, family and friends have dreams of the adults that they will become they will grow up to be. Now we do not offer we do not often envision that they will be a sign that will be contradicted, and a sword that will pierce our own hearts. But those parts of Simeon's prophecy also apply to us. Through our baptism into the death and resurrection of Christ, we become a living sign of Christ's light in the midst of the dark world, just as every baptized Christian is called to be. May we always embrace that call to be faithful disciples. And that brings us to the prayers of the people in intercessory prayers. Turning to Christ, our light, we present our needs as we pray. Radiant Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may never cease to worship God night and today, we pray. Radiant Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have recently been baptized, that they may keep the candle of their faith burning brightly, we pray. Radiant Lord, hear our prayer. For parents of newborns, that their families may reflect the holy family, we pray. Radiant Lord, hear our prayer. For all whose hearts have been pierced, that God may bless them and their pain, we pray. Radiant Lord, hear our prayer. For all who dwell in darkness, that the radiance of Christ may transform them, we pray. Radiant Lord, hear our prayer. 
gathering all of our prayers and praise into one. Let us pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray without disclosing prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you are a shining light to the nations. Hear our prayers and grant that we may walk as your children, bearing your light to all people who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, let your glory shine on us forever. Well, that concludes this week's meditation. Our Bible study continues this evening on Zoom with Luke's chapter 9, verse 28, we start with tonight. So please join us if you're able. You will be very welcome. The more, the merrier. Join us again on Sunday, February 6th at 11 for fellowship and at the church in the sanctuary if you are able for worship. Have a wonderful day and we will see you again next time.